decisions that the Auditor General has made very clear do not serve the interests of Ontarians. That, to me, smells of corruption, and I think we need to call it that. And again, if the government wants to come out and defend what happened and say, no, no, we just didn't know, we're, we're just that incompetent. I mean, this is the premier of this province. And, and as, I, as I read it, he also shared this. This was his request the, of, of his minister in the mandate letter, which, by the way, I will point out, they have yet to share. In fact, they're going to court to try to prevent people from reading their mandate letters. Well, here's why. Because this speaks to, you know, who's actually uh, needs to be held account for this government's decisions and what their real plan is for Ontario. Should the housing minister's chief of staff be fired? Should the housing minister's chief of staff be fired? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I mean I, I, I'm going to go further. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the minister himself who needs to be fired. Mm -hmm. He should have done the right thing from day one when we started asking these questions, because we've been asking these questions, right? We've been asking the government to explain why. So if they, if they say that they didn't know, why didn't they know? How is it that for month after month after month, after we were asking questions, after you were asking questions, they didn't know the answers? Come on. We know somebody knew something, and if they didn't, if they had to have, what is it they call it, a plausible deniability, why? Why? Because they knew something didn't smell right. Because they knew that envelopes were exchanging hands at, at dinners, right? This is the kind of stuff that, you know, I, I will say, you know, as I go around this province, and I've mentioned this before here, people all across this province are concerned about losing that important land, that agricultural land. Um, but they're also, as, as uh, Catherine, as MPP Fife pointed out, they're deeply concerned that this government is wasting their dollars, is throwing away money at, to their friends, that there's corruption here. And the I think the Auditor General's report shows that that is very, very much the case. Well, right here in the clip, the Auditor General said she spoke to the uh, OPP. She wouldn't say to what degree or really about what. Um, the OPP is not investigating yet. They're still doing their, um, I think you put it once, the, an investigation of an investigation. Um, what do you make of them not the OPP not yet launching an investigation, and should they give the evidence today? Well, I can't. I can't speak to what the OPP is going to be uh, investigating, and I don't know whether what's been you know revealed in these reports will change that. I, I don't know. Um, I know that there's a, an investigation underway um, by the Integrity Commissioner right now. Um, as we know, the Integrity Commissioner's mandate is pretty narrow, uh, but um, I know we know that he's been um, interviewing folks, so we're we're hopeful that you know that he'll be able to, more information will come to light. But look, I mean, the, uh, I mean, the, there's clearly um, uh, something really bad at the very top, right? And at the end of the day, the buck stops with the premier. You, you said the premier's fingerprints are all over this. The a Auditor General just told us she met directly with the premier who said he had nothing to do with the decisions about land selection. Are you saying that the premier directly lied to an officer of the legislature? I, I am saying if he didn't know, why didn't he know? If, if uh, I would say that his response, I would call it somewhat implausible or dubious. I think I was, I was looking for some good, good words to use. <laughs> dubious, implausible, doubtful. I, I, I feel that he, uh, he may not have known. And in fact, I think she points out that there was this you know, effort to be able to maintain plausible deniability. deniability. But to what end? He knew what he had mandated this minister to do and to accomplish. Did he think it was coincidence that only the people that have connections to his government, that have donated to his government, that, that so few would happen to be the successful, uh, the winners in all of this? I mean, there may he had to know some of this. I can't believe he didn't. And again, if he wants to come out and say, you know what, um, I'm just wildly incompetent. Uh, great, go ahead. Uh, I, I would, I, you know, that's fine. I would say otherwise he was serving his friends. And if he didn't know, he should have known. And he has a responsibility. The buck stops with him. When you use the word corruption, as you're yeah. using today, uh, now the dictionary yeah. has a broad definition of it. I've looked it up this morning. Uh, but most people hear that word and they hear bribes. You, you've 
you mentioned envelopes. The envelopes in the report contain property information, right. not cash. Yes. We don't have any evidence whatsoever of individuals receiving cash under the table illegally, uh, benefiting in a private sense. So when you say corruption, what do you mean? That at the end of the day, people who, um, who donate to the Conservative Party, a very few people benefited enormously from these decisions that were made without the public interest in mind. Mm -hmm. Policies were changed to suit these people so that they would be successful. Like to me, that that's, speaks to corruption. And um, I don't know, if, Catherine, if you want to add something? I just want to say the land is cash. That's, that's, that's it true. translates into billions of dollars. Even the 8.3, Jeff, <coughs> is, even the 8.3 is a 2016 MPAC assessment. That land is worth more today. Listening says some of that money went in an envelope and it went to, I don't know, the premier, the minister, the, the people working on this file. That's when I, when people hear corruption, that's what they hear. And think, that's I not what you're can, saying? It's clear. I mean, look, uh, the conservative government have been receiving donations from these developers, right? So they're receiving donations and decisions are being made to benefit a select few folks who have extraordinary access. I don't know what else you could call it. I'm not, I'm not shying away from it because I think this report makes it pretty clear. And again, if the, if, the, if the premier wants to come out and say, oh no, I'm just really incompetent. Man, am I incompetent. I had no idea what my minister was up to or any of my staff. I mean, I talk to my chief of staff multiple times a day and ask for, you know, accountability. You know, here's the things I've asked to be conducted, to be done. I, I would expect that a minister would be asking the same of his chief of staff. I would expect that the premier would be asking those questions. And my goodness, at very least over the last number of months since we in the official opposition have been raising question after question after question after question, somewhere along the line, you didn't think to ask what's going on. Why didn't you want to know? Because you know that those donations are still coming in. That's why.